This is problem number 36 from the August 2014 Algebra Regents exam. We've got a school that's building a rectangular soccer field that has an area of 6,000 square yards. Let's go ahead and draw a visualization of this. So the total area is 6,000 yards squared. The soccer field must be 40 yards longer than its width. So if we call this distance our width, we'll call it w, and this will be our length, it's saying that the length must be 40 yards longer than the width, meaning the width plus 40. Determine algebraically the dimensions of the soccer field. All right, so we know the area is, of course, uh, of a rectangle is length times width. Here we know the area, the total area is 6,000. The length uh, well, now we're going to write the length as w plus 40. And we're going to do that so that we're dealing with a, an equation with only one unknown variable. And then we're going to multiply that by w, the width. Uh, but I'm actually going to write that in the front here. Okay, uh, so next thing we're going to do is uh, basically just solve for w. I'm going to first uh, distribute the w into the brackets here. Multiply this, and we'll get 6,000 equals w squared plus 40w. Next, uh, we'll move everything over to the right-hand side. So we'll get 0 equals w squared plus 40w minus 6,000. And then now we need to factor this guy. So let's set up our brackets, our w's. Okay. We're looking for uh, two numbers that multiply to get us negative 6,000, but add to get us positive 40. Um, and it might seem scary and overwhelming at first, but 6,000, we could try 100 and 60, right? Because 60 times 100 is 6,000, but one of them needs to be negative. And because we want the, their sum to be positive 40, we want the 100 to be positive and the 60 to be negative. So it actually wasn't too, too tough. All right, that means one of these is going to be w plus 100, and the other one will be w minus 60. And that means w is going to equal negative 100 here, and w will equal 60. But because we are talking about the width of a um, soccer field, we can't have a negative distance. So we're going to ignore this negative 100 value and just stick with the 60. So we have a width of 60, now we also need to find out the length. Of course, uh, the length is 40 more. So 60 plus 40 means that the length is 100. And we'll include our unit of measurement, yards. Length is 100 yards, and the width is 60 yards. All right, I hope that was helpful, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.